this is a new bot I've been working on. It's an upgraded version of my bodyguard bot. This is a lot better than the one I had before. So what it does is it follows around the player and if there's an enemy, so like a spider or a zombie, uh, when there's an enemy it can attack them. You can use both melee attacks and um, archery. Uh, currently just bows. It aim bots as you would expect. Anyway, uh, let's talk about how it works. So the first thing, this file here, is the boss file. This file contains a list of every player that has permission to control the bot or that the bot will try to protect. If you want the bot to protect you, you just edit the file and put your username on a new line and the bot should register you as a boss uh, next time you run it. Uh, when you're actually in the game, there are two ways to control the bot. You've got the actual command line window, which is, you know, how you're running the bot, in which you can just type in commands for the bot, or in Minecraft you can use the chat and just like send a message to the bot. I've actually changed it a bit so that the code should be able to handle running more bots now without crashing because the way that I was doing it before if you can imagine if you just spawn a bunch of bots with Mindflayer using the create bot function they're all on uh, they're all on the same thread uh, which is not great because if one bot is doing a calculation that takes ages or it lags or something goes wrong with it, then it's going to affect all the other bots that are running on the same thread. But Node.js has this library called child processes and it allows you to spawn kind of like another sub program. Uh, it's on its own thread, I think. And that way the code can sort of execute separately. So if you've got like three bots and one of them lags, the other two aren't going to be, aren't really going to be affected by that and they can just keep running fine. If one bot is lagging, it doesn't necessarily mean that the other ones are going to be affected by that, which is important because that means that the code is a lot more stable, I guess. Um, they run a lot better. Can probably handle more bots than it could before. Uh, it, it's hard to test uh, on my laptop because, you know, there's only so much that multi-threading can do. But yeah, if if you wanna if you wanna test it out, you know, leave a comment. Tell me how that goes. Just keep in mind that Minecraft has a limit on the number of players that can join a LAN world, so if you want to like test it properly, you'll probably want a server. This isn't a perfect solution because every child process has a bunch of overhead. Uh, there's probably a better solution, but that's something for future me to worry about. Uh, if you have any ideas or like any anything to do with that, let me know. Anyway, so if you have multiple bots, uh, how do you control them? Uh, it's quite simple. If you type a message out into Minecraft's chat, it'll all the bots will respond to it. So if I tell them all to ping, every bot that I currently have spawned in that gets that message will reply with pong. But if I only want to address a single bot with a command, I can type at and then the name of the bot and then the rest of the command there as you would normally. And then only the specific bot that I'm referencing will respond to that command. That also works if you're doing commands from the command line. Bots will only actually respond to commands if it's from someone listed in the boss file. Or if you type a command into the command line, then that's fine. When a bot first joins the world, the first thing it does is it'll stand around scanning for any of the bosses that are listed in the boss file. Uh, it'll just keep standing there. Uh, if there's no bosses there, it'll just wait until there is. When it finds a boss, the first one it finds, it'll 
go to them and it'll follow them around protecting them. If there is someone else who's in the boss list that shows up after that, the bot won't protect them because it's already got somebody it's got to protect. Um, you can use the guard command to force a bot to guard a specific player. Once the bot is protecting a player, it'll follow them around until, you know, if there's like a an enemy, let's say a zombie, that comes within a certain distance of the player, the bot goes into an attack mode. And when it's in attack mode, uh, it has a loop that it follows. It uses a pathfinding algorithm to calculate how long the enemy will take to reach the player, uh, assuming that the enemy is going straight for the player. And then, based on that amount of time, either there's enough time for the bot to get out a bow and shoot the enemy, or there isn't. Um, and if there is enough time, then it'll use the bow to shoot the enemy, if it has one. And if there's not enough time for it to do that, it'll just go for a melee attack. And with the melee attacks, I've written a small Mindflayer plugin, just to manage things a bit easier. So it can automatically switch to the best weapon uh, based on a list where I have all the weapons sorted by preference and then we'll attack the enemy with that. For pathfinding, I'm using the Mindflayer Pathfinder plugin uh, which is very useful, very convenient. It's a lot easier to use that than making my own. It's a very good plugin, um, but if it does have enough time to use a bow, obviously it will. And so for that, I've got another small plugin, which essentially just wraps over the Minecraft Hawkeye plugin, which is another Mindflayer plugin for aimbotting using bows. It, it can calculate the, you know, given an enemy or like where an a position, it can calculate where, uh, what angle the bot should be looking at to shoot it with, with the bow. I think it'd be really fun to try and come up with my own solution for this problem so I don't want to keep relying on Minecraft Hawkeye forever. I reckon that could be a pretty fun video to do in the future. Uh, anyway, the code's available on GitHub, link in the description. Consider leaving a comment and subscribing if you don't want to miss my next video, which will hopefully be soon. Uh, that's really about it, see ya.